In July 1918, the Ekaterinburg Reds feared that a Czech army and white Russian forces were on their way to rescue the Tsar. The decision was made to act. Yakov Yurovsky was the hardliner chosen by the local committee to take over command of the House of Exile. The guards, known to have become affectionate towards the family, were removed. Yurovsky brought in new men with a new mission, to execute the prisoners. In the cellar of this house in 20 horrific minutes on the night of July 17th, 1918, the last chapter of the Romanovs would be written. Just after midnight, the royals are roused from sleep by guards. The family is told that because of anarchist unrest in the town, the upper rooms of the house have become unsafe that there may be shooting in the streets. The Tsar, his wife, and five children, along with their four attendants, all 11 that make up the royal household, are brought down into the cellar for their own safety. Yurovsky and his men enter the room. He has instructed each to shoot a different family member in the heart to lessen the blood flow. There were investigations after the event, and there are written accounts as detailed as they are confusing. But what happened here was both savage and hate-filled. As the smoke cleared, the myth began. Could anyone really have escaped this carnage? The bones now found in the Koptyaki forest may provide the answers to this question. Shedding fact from fiction in a case that has sparked the popular imagination has proven virtually impossible. But this latest find may give investigators the evidence they've been searching for for decades. The final answer, hidden in the snowy Siberian forest for nearly 90 years.